everyone and welcome back to another video. This time we are unboxing, if you could see that, a palette full pack. Yes, I got caught by customs as every other box I get from America seems to happen. But there we go. Right, let's have an open up, shall we? My trusty pen method, which will wreck your pens, but you know, I have no scissors here. There we go. Oh, let's see what's in it. Ooh, nice blue wormy guys in there. Very, very nice. This is, again, I have to, I have to check. Pet what? Oh, okay. Penury, which I guess that's the January one. But what is this? Oh, not another prompt. Please don't make me do another prompt. I did Inktober. I did it. I did do it. Not again. Um, a penury palette pack. Okay. So make a pen drawing based on your interpretation of the daily prompt. Post to social media and a hashtag. No, just no. Right, that's what's in it. Let's put it out of the way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's this? An artist pencil pod. The word pod is just adorable. Let's open it. Get me pen involved again. Oh, it's like being back in school. something in it no there's nothing in it but that's kind of cute I don't know when I'll ever use it I mean it's huge compared to how much room you actually have in here so uh, I don't know oh oh is that magneted or something oh oh give it a push and that holds it together fair enough and I guess to go with the theme we have a lot of pens. My, that's a lot of pens. Let's lay them out and then I'll read what they are. Oh, I think I've got one of these. I swear I've got one of these. Brush sign pen. Fair enough. So what's the difference between this and Inktober, really? Is, is, is there, am I not seeing something? Oops. Three different colours of that one. Oh, the Pit Artist pen there. Mm. And a Stonehenge 15 sheets in white. This is like I know what I'm talking about uh, 250 GCM, 8x8, acid free, 100% cotton. Ooh, feels nice. It's quite thick. This is what I see other artists doing, going, mmm, mmm, it's, it's very thick, yes, mmm. Like, I guess that matters. So, this is what we've got. Let's have a look. We've got the Stonehenge paper pad, Pentel Micro Brush Sign Pens, black, blue and grey. That's these three here. Um, regular Brush Sign Pen. That one there. And a Faber-Castell pit artist pen in black so interesting and the artist storage pod what do you say about these pod this pod this pod is a fun and functional way to store your pencils pens and small tools it is designed to hold approximately four pens or a set of 12 pencils constructed of a beautiful hand sanded hardwood hand sanded hardwood there we go it will conveniently store and protect your drawing essentials this box features a sliding lid with a snug ball bearing closure 1095 if you were interested there you go that's what we've got now what do we do with it well let's swatch these pens out and see what they look like i said i had another one of these and i do a different color as well i've got the sky blue one which i think i got from another pack and i can't remember which one but there you go i own that Right, let's try this one first. The Faber-Castell Artist Pit Pen or Pit Artist Pen. Sure, I've got this one. Yeah, it looks like a pen. I mean, they're okay. Not that I really... I'm not like an expert or anything, but it is waterproof and it works and it's a pretty good liner. So why not? Right, let's have a go at these ones. Try the normal, the normal one first. Let's have a look. 
This is a regular brush sign pen. So the regular, oh, there we go, regular. It's a bit hard. A bit scratchy. It's not, it's not as juicy as I'd like, but it's quite gives you quite a nice matte look. Next, we'll try. This is the Pentel Micro Brush Pen. So I'm assuming. Yep. Whoa! Look at that. It's really thin. I find these really difficult to work with. I don't have the steadiest of hands. So, and is it me or is this really nah, not? working very well let's go really slowly i mean if that's the texture you want then that's fine but am i doing something wrong here comments down below sam you're supposed to squeeze it you're supposed to shake it i don't know maybe it needs to warm up a bit huh well it's an interesting texture um that seems to me like it's a bit dry. Let's try this one. This is, well, it must be a few months old. This is not with the pack. This is the one I already had. So we'll, we'll go up here. I mean, yeah. I haven't really used it that much. So I can't comment, but that seems to be still pretty unjuicy. Let's put it to one side. Let's try the black, uh, the blue one. You can get a really thin line, as long as your hand isn't too shaky. That's okay, actually. I mean, yeah, is it okay? Am I just missing something? Is it supposed to be like this? Like your favorite paintbrush, these microfibers of excellent spring and snap. The micro brush tip is ideal for drawing, detailing, lettering and journaling. They're excellent on their own, but the water-based dyes also allows you to create washes and a, with a wet brush. £14.97, I assume that's all three of them. But, I don't know, what do you think? That is a weird effect. It could be a very good effect, if that's the effect you want. But, I don't know. That looks like when I try Procreate and do it really badly. Alright, let's have a go at the grey one. Just making a huge mess now, aren't I? Yeah, again, it looks like, looks like chalk. Is that me or does that look like chalk? Just fine, if that's what you want. I'm not supposed to press it or do anything with it. I might twist it or... <laughs> You can get a lovely thin line if you want this effect. It's quite a good effect if you want it, but I am not sure about this. I'm not, I don't know, I'm not that happy with this box, if I'm, if I'm honest. I mean, this, I'm never going to use this. It took me ages to open it. It just got stuck and then you can fit, you can fit three of these in here and no more really and then if you shut it I'm too scared to do it you have to then try and open it again and it's oh that was easier but it's um not for something somebody with any issues with hand strength or anything like that so um I'm not I'm not convinced but we'll have a go we'll have a go what the ending <laughs> right so we got new tasty snow bear ending. Fair enough. Okay, we'll have a go. Maybe we'll draw a bear. I think we'll make it snowy with the blue, but we shall have a go and see how I do. I ended up going with a, a very simple drawing for this. I went with the the prompts uh, bear snow. I can't remember the other one. Was fish one of them? I can't remember, but it's a snowy bear. Well, that was the idea anyway. And I found if I found it very difficult to do line work with these. You just have to squish it a little bit, and the line width changes. So I think you need to be a bit more, a bit better, quite frankly, than I am with these pens. But I, you know, I didn't mind them in the end. You go slow, and you're okay with you know the the juiciness, I guess. 
While I was doing this, uh, my daughter came over just to see what I was up to. And I record this with the sound on and then edit it out later to speed it up. But yeah, the, the telly's on in the background, can't for the life of it. I'm probably watching a YouTuber draw. I'm probably watching someone draw better than me. But anyway, uh, my daughter is about to come in and you will see her finger pointing at the butt and there you go so everybody introducing my daughter and her her thoughts on my drawing bop, 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 bop. like he's really sad and then he's like what's that and then he goes Boop. and then well there's going to be a fish there and then he's going to be sleepy because he's so he's um so he's killed it's a polar bear of course he's killed a fish oh right Nature. You should also draw uh, the anguished expression on the fish's face and all the crying children because he's eating the mummy. So there's her views on it anyway. Um, and then I told her I was recording and, and she kind of wandered off then. But anyway, back to the drawing. I thought, yeah, let's just go simple. There, there's the fish. There's the, there's the look of anguish on its face. Not possibly quite what she meant, but there you go. So I, I enjoyed this. I enjoy little, you know, characters and yeah, there, there's um, yeah, the fish. The fish is all round his chops, bless him. Um, and I thought it didn't whether it flowed properly as to what picture went into the other I was a bit, you know, uh, and I wanted a bit more of the blue. So there you go. I added some swooshes and you follow the swooshes round to tell the story. And then there's a the last one in the middle, just kind of floating around and then I used the grey I found the grey was quite dark and it wasn't that different from the black I don't know if you can even see on the screen close up you, you can see that it's lighter but not so much as to where I wouldn't have just used the black so there you go very simple cross hatching just to ground them a little bit except that one in the middle who is floating and just of pure joy of having eaten that poor fish so there you go that's what i ended up with very a, a very simple drawing yes i wasn't i wasn't very inspired by these i must admit going slowly yes you can get a good line and i got used to them but i i find those really especially the very fine brush markers like that i prefer bullet tip when doing line work i found it a bit Whew, it was all over the place but there you go that's what I ended up with ignore this I got some on my hand and went on the fish and then I went on there and let's just let's just cover that up but there you go uh let me know in the comments down below did you get this box do you fancy this box did you do better with these pens than I did they're not my thing there you go um I'm sure they are somebody's thing everything is for somebody somewhere but thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it please remember to like and please subscribe if you haven't it would make my absolute day and i will hopefully see you next one bye